blockbuilders.net and I want to show you guys today how Binance Futures trading works and how you can actually use the platform to make um, some money and trade Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP future contracts. First of all, in order to trade on Binance Futures, you need, to buy you need a Binance account. And if you don't have one, I put a link down in the description and that you can actually use in order to save 10% on fees for a lifetime on Binance and even save 10% on fees on the Futures platform. And just sign up with that link and you can open an account. And you don't need to do a KYC process in order to trade on Binance. Um, even without um, submitting your passport, passport or ID card, you can actually um, withdraw up to two BTC per day um, from Binance, um, so without a KYC process. So it's actually fairly easy to get started on Binance without a lot of verification. And the Binance Futures platform became quite popular in the last few months. The reason for that is basically that it has a lot of liquidity. You can trade a lot of coins and contracts and you can um, actually use a lot of trading tools in order to place your order and um, in order to get your order executed and stuff like that. So a lot of people switched from BitMEX to Binance um, also because the matching, matching engine is way better. So let's get started. Once you have a Binance account, all you need to do is you need to put some money into your wallet. Um, can either be the futures wallet or into your spot wallet. Um, in order to do that, um, you need to first put money into your spot wallet. So how you can do that, you can either deposit euro and buy Bitcoin with that. Um, or you can deposit Bitcoin or any other um, cryptocurrency um, that you currently have. So for example, you could also deposit fiat currencies with a bank transfer. It currently costs nothing, so it's free of charge. You could wire euros, for example, to Binance and buy Bitcoin with it. And then you can actually get started. However, in order to trade um, Binance futures, you have to know that um, you the underlying asset you trade on is USDT, so Tether. So you need to have um, Tether in your account. And if you, for example, only have Bitcoin, you can trade them for um, Tether, for example. Let's go to Tether here. So you could, for example, trade BTC USDT or BNB or Ethereum. So just make sure you have some USDT here in order to trade on the Binance futures platform. Um, once you have that, you can actually start here, go to derivatives and then perpetual futures. And you can either trade perpetual futures or quarterly futures on Binance. And the name already suggests perpetual futures run for an indefinite amount of time. So you can open your trade and basically stay in it forever. However, you pay funding for it every eight hours and currently the funding rate for example is at 0.01 percent and the next funding will be charged in six hours 34 minutes and if you're in a contract then you will actually pay funding if you are long if you are short you will actually receive that money so funding could be also negative and if it's negative then you will um, receive money if you are long and you will pay money if you are short um, usually most of the traders are long, so that's why funding is usually positive. And that basically means longs pay shorts. So if you are long, you have to have, actually have to pay shorts every eight hours, this amount. And of course, that can switch. If a lot of people, a lot more than now are long, then the funding rate will go up and vice versa. And as you can, as I said, you can trade Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, um, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, XRP, and EOS currently on Binance Futures. And all that are the most popular ones. And then you will actually have some smaller ones here. For example, you could also trade Tron. And I have seen IOTA, for example. 
and all the other um, currencies that are listed here. However, you could also trade per, um, quarterlies. And if you look at Bitcoin, for example, there's a Bitcoin quarterly that expires um, on September 25th and one that expires on December 25th. The advantage is um, that you don't pay funding for it. So if you enter a BTC quarterly contract and you plan to stay in it for like a month or longer, you can just do that and without paying funding every eight hours. And so sometimes it's actually cheaper to enter a quarterly contract, especially if you want to stay in the contract for quite a while than to open a perpetual contract. However, a quarterly contract gets settled on um, that specific date and uh, then it gets sold automatically. So you have to take the price um, that we have on that date. Um, however, most people trade perpetuals because they don't stay that long into a contract and it's also the most liquid one. And here we have um, our chart where we have the price. Um, one candle here is currently one hour. You could also change that to example 30 minutes or do daily candles. Then you have the order book here where you have all the sell orders and all the buy orders. And here you have the last trades that happened. I will move to the side here. And if you want to start trading, you have to move um, some USDT into your futures wallet. And how you do that is you click here on transfer. If you don't have crypto, you could buy it here, for example, but you can transfer it. And then from your spot wallet to your perpetual wallet, you can just click, type the amount here and you could transfer it. You could also transfer it the other way around. So if you want to sell it, you can move it back to your spot wallet and sell it there, for example, against um, Bitcoin or sell it against Euro and withdraw the Euro and from Binance. And so I have currently um, 1,100 USDT in my futures wallet and 1,300 is still in my spot wallet. So let's take that. And one of the things that may made um, the futures trading so Popular is the leverage because you can trade with leverage of 1 to um, 125x. So with only having 1000 USDT in my account, I could actually trade um, a position that is worth more than 100,000 USDT. However, you will have to keep in mind that you will get liquidated and you will lose um, your $1,000 if the price goes against you um, just 1%. So I would suggest not to trade higher than 5x. And because with 5x, you will get liquidated if the price goes against you um, by 20%. And you can set your leverage here. Um, so let's take one to, or 1 to 10, then it's easier to understand. You can confirm it. Or you could also use cross leverage that would basically mean um, uh, that you would take um, all the balance that you have in your account and would create or would um, set the leverage automatically. Um, but that's very risky. So I would usually take a set leverage and with a very low um, leverage. So not being higher than five. I just took 10 here to um, show it to you guys and it's easier to calculate then. So you can do a limit or a market order. A market order basically gets executed immediately. You could just say you want to buy um, one Bitcoin. So the amount of BTC. So let's say you want to Um, by one Bitcoin or um, how much you ever want. So you just set um, either the amount here or you use that slider and you can set um, 
the percentage here. For example, if I have or I have 1,100 USDT in my account, I could um, with the 10 10x leverage, I could buy a 1.1 BTC here, as you can see. And I could just um, go long or go short. So if I would go short, I would bet that the price will go down. If I would go long, I would bet the price will go up. Um, some users also use a limit order. A limit order is where you can actually set a fixed amount when you want to enter a trade. Let's say you think Bitcoin will go, will go down to 8,000. You can say, okay, you want to buy Bitcoin at 8,000. Eight thousand, and you want to buy. Um, you want to use all the money you have into your account, so you could buy one point three eight BTC. And um, if the price goes to eight thousand, and then you can say you want to go long. And okay, um, it just summarizes your order here. Then you say um, okay, and then you have an open order here. And the other order basically says, okay, um, if the price drops to 8,000, you will buy 1.38 Bitcoins. And the order will stay under open orders um, for an indefinite amount of time until the order drops to, or until the price drops to 8,000. If the price never drops to 8,000, um, the order will never be executed. And you could, of course, um, also cancel the order every time. So the main difference is basically that the market order gets executed immediately and the limit order only when a certain price is reached. And that's basically it. So you can go long, short, use market limit orders, set a leverage. And um, once you are in an order, you can Let's do a market order here very quick for just 1%, just to show it to you. 1% and go long. Then you can say, see a position here where we actually have um, the size. So how many Bitcoins we have, the entry price and we, the liquidation price. Here we don't have a liquidation price because we only used um, a small amount of our uh, wallet balance. And we couldn't see a margin ratio and the margin cost, so it's around 10%. And we could see our profit and loss here. And of course, we could sell it every time. If we click um, on market, then we would do a market sell or a limit, then we can say, okay, if the price goes to 9,300, I want to sell. And then we, of course, um, could also close the position with a limit order. Just do a market order here. Order filled and now it's gone and we have our money back. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, um, feel free to use the comments down below. I will do a few more advanced videos. And for example, how you use stop limit orders and stuff like that. And if you don't have a Binance account yet, feel free to use my link down below to save 10% on fees. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys.